Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Seven Saga. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. If I sound a little bit different, that's because I am in a far more relaxed position, as I just had to grind, like, three or four levels or so, and I'm actually stupid close to my next level, seeing as I was kind of grinding while I was down near the airplane instead of up here. But yeah, last we left off, a bunch of things happened. And now we have to try to find Saro in the Cave of Weakness, or at least that's what the strategywiki.org page calls it, and uh, hope that these things don't kill us. Blech. So let's hope that Vacuum 2 can... Ah, I was hoping for at least two of them to get eliminated. Doesn't seem to be the case. As per the usual. Ah, that was low. That's why that was funky. Fortunately, neither of them seem to have brought back their buddy. Well, let's try a vacuum two again. Brick. Wasting all my MP in the first go of the game, Dar. Of course, then again, they're kind of doing the same. But then again, I can escape. So. I did manage to find one hole recovery. That's it. I've, I, it was not the best of luck. Luck was on, on my side today. These guys, I still don't know if I can actually handle. I can't seem to run away immediately from them. Damn it. I think these are ones I'm going to actually have to face. Kind of sucks, because that hurts. What if I could just vacuum the guy? This is, I don't know. I kind of griped about Esna when I was uh, playing as her before. And I was really hoping I wasn't going to have to, you know, bitch and moan about Legis. Seeing as he was originally one of my favorite characters. So much so that I ended up playing through the entirety of the game with him. But, I don't know. S Demon, Silver Demon? It really didn't look all that silver to me. Anyways. Let's go ahead and use a potion. Oh. I didn't mean to use the potion 2. I meant to use the potion 3. Why use the potion 3, you might ask? Well, that's because I can actually buy the potion 3s. In the, uh... Store. In the thing. Eh. Dang it. Got me out the corner. But yeah, you can buy the potion threes at the store that's located in the airplane, whereas potion twos are no longer in stock. Two for one deal. Nice. Now I just gotta hope that this other undead doesn't go resurrecting him. Frick. Frick. Well, okay. I'm not gonna deal with this carefully. Ah. Uh, okay, if I go for the center one, they'll be for. Oh, come on. <sighs> right? I guess I'm running my entire way through this mm, godforsaken cave. Oh, how much money did I lose? Eh. Paltry sum, really. God, that irritates me to no end. It's one of the reasons why I just refuse to play this at the least for quote unquote realsies when it comes to the unmodded version. Alright. Can I just. Oh, come on. Bugger off. I see the thing with those two is that I would totally use bottles of defense or bottle of protection, whatever the heck you want to call them, in order to raise my defense so that I can actually fight them. Problem with that is that I got a very limited supply now because that is no longer available. 
Uh, come on. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, uh, bottles of protect no longer available. The ones that I have remaining, the six that I have remaining are supposed to last me throughout the rest of the game. Which is admittedly not all that long and there's not all that many boss fights left. Uh, I think there's actually a grand total of like three-ish. Stop giving me undeeds, please. But, I gotta make them last, which means I can't use them against every single monster that I find. And definitely not against those guys. I hate that I, that I have to resort to this, though. I hate that I have to resort to running away from every single fight. Because A, Legis is not physically all that able to take a hit. So... All those guys hitting him for nearly 100 damage per sucks. Oh, all this way for a power seed. Well, if I end up dying, I know which way I'm going next. Eh? Dang it. Oh, God, this freaking damage range is ridiculous. Anywhere between 70 to 140. Thus forcing me to use a potion. Thus forcing me having to make yet another trek down to the airplane so I can buy more potions. Assuming that I got money anymore. I've been kind of stressing about the idea of going back through this cave. I won't lie. Because this cave in Castle Gorfun, or Gorfun, or whatever the frick frack you want to call it, are just the most ball-bustingly hard dungeons that I think I've ever encountered. And that's saying something, because I've played a lot of JRPGs in my day. So, I'll have to pardon me if I'm a little bit frustrated with this place. Especially seen as it has two bosses. So, yeah, I have little to no care for this place, seen as it's, you know. Testogen. Ah, dang it. At the least, most JRPGs give you your entire world that you can go back and re explore or go back and find things that you've missed. This? Once you've gotten this far, it's as far as you can go. You can't go back. It's rough. Don't hate the game for it. I just find the game frustrating for it. Anyways. You have interrupted my rest, you miserable fool. I will send you to the dark world. I wonder how many different voices I've given Goron here. By the way, this is Goron. Say hi, Goron. i use a bottle of protection. I'm going to assume that he's not going to be able to hit us for too hard. I really should have used Jilly first. Ah. Barely all that hard. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. Oh, he's... Oh, Blizzard. Okay, I'll admit that it sucked. I'm really glad that I cast that spell. Or cast that agility now. Ah, oh, 302. How much do you want to bet that my spells would do just infinitely less? I'm going to try it out. I know that it's... I don't know. I've been thinking about how to word my displeasure about how some of the characters are dealt with in this game. 
like magic against you. Perfectly all right. Does a tight ton of damage. Good luck surviving even a singular blow from one of your fellow apprentices, even in this modded version. Your magic, on the other hand, sucks. Just sucks. Hey, level 51. Four power, four speed. Well, at least those were good. All right. Quick use of a another potion. And then we shall head down. Uh, oh, hey, tis another boss. Tagasia instructed me to let nobody through. If you wish to go forward, you must first defeat me. Just one right after the other. This is Griffan. Yes, Griffan. She is stronger. She is faster. But it's a good old solid case of I'm buffing up. So she's going to be more or less obsolete. Yeah, look at that. Does almost the exact same amount of damage as Goron did. I want to point out too, Goron, Griffan, Gorfun, Gorsia. Pretty sure there's some sort of, you know, hint being tossed like, ooh, the word gore is bad. Dang it. Oh no. I mean, I dodged that one, but. Oh no. Alright. See if the ye olde repost attack will work. It does for the most part. Slap fest. But yeah. I don't know. It, it's just my biggest gripe when it comes to this game. You have such a diverse cast of main characters. And unfortunately, they seem to just kind of fumble with them. Like, magic itself feels next to useless when you've got, you know, arcane cat, or when you got, you know, people hitting for. 150, 300 damage. And then you try to cast a spell, it's like, here's 50 damage. I'll probably go more of a tangent on that when I finish beating the game for the third time in as many years. Uh, game's lucky I got a heavy amount of nostalgia and just pure enjoyment out of it. Don't know why. Uh, do we have a chance? All right. Hey, got two of them. Cool. Please run away, or just miss. Missing works. Missing is good. And pop. You got. Oh, I hate every single one of you. Okay, I'm gonna hope that the Exagate works. I was kind of hoping that that was going to work against the other one as well, but... Are you... Seriously that desperate for some kinship here? I will do this one more time. First I'll do this one more time, because one more time is all I have left for the MP. Oh, but if I go... No. Mm -mm. Gotta escape. Not dying here. <laughs> I just killed two of the bosses. The the next two bosses. And I'm close to finishing the whole purpose of this goddamned cave. Ah. <sighs> Literally 20 feet away. Legis, I knew you would come. Dorsia took all of my power away from me. Now I can hardly feel the sunlight on my body. I no longer have the power to protect the people, but I removed Gorsia's curse on the runes. When you use the runes, they should give you enough power to fight Gorsia. Legis, I have to leave the rest to you. Fight Gorsia and win for the people. I'm growing weaker as I speak. 
Don't worry about me, though. My flesh will perish. But I will be reborn into a new life. Jelly sub teleported me outside. No? Okay. Guess I'll use my own resources. Dang it. <sighs> well, I'm glad that ordeal is over. Now we've only got the conclusion of the game to come across. That is Castle Gorefun itself. It is not fun. Not fun in the slightest. Not fun at all. I'd argue that it's more pain in the ass of dealing with giant crabs literally, you know, two steps away from your home, sleep. But hey, experience points. Yeah, an opal gave up. Poor opal. Uh, I'm gonna get <laughs> in bed. Gorfun can wait. I have no HP right now. <laughs> or no MP. So, let's go ahead and talk to the apprentices. Well, hi there. They're all looking kind of creepy. The moon rune will weaken Gorsia and reduce his attack power by half. We're gonna hear this another six times. <laughs> Skyrune will weaken Gorsia's magic power. Legis, I hope for your success. Yeah, at this point I'm kinda hoping for it too. The Wind Rune will reduce Gorsia's agility. Legis, good luck. I kinda wish that there was another point to skip the thing. Use the water rune. You can reduce Gorsia's dark power by half. Yeah, wish that you could skip the sound a little bit sooner. Using the light rune, you should be able to deflect his spells and attack him. There isn't much we can do to help you, but we will be looking forward to good news. And finally... The Star Rune will reduce Gorsia's defense power by half. I say finally, but there's just the one more sage person. We felt the moment of his death. When he died, his soul touched the runes and removed Gorsia's curse. You must have known your power is the last hope. Please take the runes and answer his call. The Wizard Rune will bl block Gorsia's power for a short period, and he will appear from the shadows of the Dark World. Oh boy. Just who oh boy. Well, before all that, I'm not gonna run down to Uzumadaze place and see about getting my supplies re supplied. And then I'll have myself a good old fashioned go at Gorsio's big old castle of fun. Funny fun fun. It's not that fun. Be right back. Oh, hey, level up. Not bad. Pretty good speed. Allow me to run away some more. And back. Deepest. Wasn't so bad. I did level up once, so I got that going for me. I think that puts me on par with both my Camille and Esna playthrough. I think. Not 100% sure. So with that said and done, and the fact that I have all the runes back in my possession, I am going to make the terrible, terrible trek. Castle Gorfun is over to the east. Just as soon as I get through the rest of crab abominations. Honestly, it really just depends on... Uh, RNG, I guess, is a good way to put it about how fast and how effortlessly you can get through this area. 
Especially now that Legis has somewhere around, somewhere over, rather, 200 agility. Kind of disgusting. I can escape from pretty much most any fight. Which is not something I particularly want to do, but I gotta conserve my MP, I gotta conserve my HP. Don't want to use all my potions and recoveries, so. What you gotta do? Who knows? Maybe depending on my luck and... Oh, God forbid... Uh, Gorsia being a right pain in the ass. I could very well end this... this video. Presuming I stop running into things. Go away, Sir Pint. Yes, that is her name, by the way. I don't think I've ever... I haven't beaten one on camera this playthrough. But it's called a Sir Pint. And, uh... Purely annoying, because all it does is it really just tries to cast Petrify. I think at one time it tried to use a vacuum on me. Don't recall. There... At this point, pretty much everything is just like insta death or paralysis or whatnot. Paralysis? No. Petrification. So, this is Gore Fun. It's not fun. I don't know why they call it that. So, there are four levels to this place. Each floor has a bunch of uh, Tetsujin that are just kind of around the place. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Uh, there are just uh, a bunch of Tetsujin. Gotta figure out which one or what's the pattern. So, pattern. Pattern, pattern, pattern. I don't think that this is... Hmm. I don't think this is going to give me the actual pattern. Oh, you can also in, uh, enter the doors to avoid fights, but you're looking for the ones that lead up. Uh, if you enter any of the central ones, no worries. That those ones don't affect you. Only the corner ones. Dang it. But even if if you enter the wrong one, you have to go back and start over again. Else, you'll just be repeating... Okay, Golden Knights. Heh, <laughs> no. If not, then you'll just be repeatedly going in the same cycle. Which kinda sucks. So it's... Bottom left. Try top left. Damn it. What really sucks is that since there's nothing like repels in this, you're just kind of stuck having to go around in the... Sorry, was that the right one? Huh. Okay, I'm definitely not facing Mr. Blue Man group there. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Bottom left, bottom right. Let's try top right first. Yes. And by process of elimination, we're going to duck in here really quick. And go to this one. Hope this is it. I, uh, what is even? Did that just ruin it all again? I have no clue what's going on. Aw, oh, crap. Is it? I don't freaking remember. Oh, hell no. Then the game said, oh, hell yes. There we go. I know it seems like coward 
cowardice. Uh, just doing nothing but running from absolutely everything. Honestly, again, I think that the ending chapter of this is probably the weakest. Just trying to figure out this goddamn labyrinth is a pain in the butt. What's that? Oh, hey. Why not? Take the emerald. Oh, that guy is still here. Resume time. And depending on how all this goes, I might just be a coming back up these uh, unpleasantness in the first place again. Anyways, so. No, nothing in any of those. Alright. Okay. Four floors with the same identical things. Uh Wait, does that one count? I don't even know anymore. Because at this point, it's bottom right... Oh. Shut up. I underestimated you, foolish mortal. But now, I will stop you forever. You should have stayed in the future. If you had, you would have known me there as the one power on this planet. Go to the dark world. Well, here we are. Freaking Dorsia. Now, from what I've gathered, you pretty much have to do the runes in the order that you have, reverse order that you obtained them. That's what I found anyways. So we start with the wizard, because does this. Oh, good, he used that instead. Uh, we then use the light rune, which will remove a magical barrier and make him vulnerable to the other runes. Unfortunately, he still has magic, which hurts. Ah, now the question is, do I want to... Do I want to try to heal myself, or do I want to... I'm going to try to heal myself. I'm not even sure why I bother with the recoveries at this point now. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yep. <sighs> One moment, folks. All right. Let's try this again. This time with feeling. Okay, he's trying to petrify me again. That's good. Uh, if he tries to cast a spell on me, I'm just going to accept it. More than likely, he's going to hit me with whatever he's got anyhow. So the Sky Rune will have his strength, magic, and MP. So I want to blast him with that. So this... Why does that still hurt so much? I'm growing to hate this fight more and more the more I do it. Suck it. Is there any point in me casting a bottle of protect now? Because he's still going to hit me with the magic. But even if he hits me with the... Hmm. Still hits me with the magic, but if I were to potion up now? Is that still gonna kill me? No. Haha! <laughs> Suck it. Alright. Wizard, so we'll go with light. Never mind.
balls. Wizard. Wait. Hmm. I'm trying to think. A lot of things I could do here. Because I can light rune now. Cast the magic y magic -y. If I. Oh, but if I go to. Uh. Now, if I go to protect myself, all that's gonna happen is I die. Maybe if I protect myself at the start? I don't know, do the usual buff thing. Yeah. Alright. Try that, let's try... Protecting myself, agility myself. Because he's only going to try to petrify me. And then, if I agility myself, increase my chance of dodging shit. That's not gonna dodge. Ow. But I only need to heal... ...this much. Ish. Yeah. Pretty much I just have to wait for an opportunity to use the runes where it's best, you know? If he's gonna keep on casting spells. Alright, I gotta start seeing if I can't wear him down some. Nope, there's death. You bet your sweet bippy I just tried to freaking save state that freaking fight. Let's see where he goes from here. Oh, immediately for the sucker punch. Good. Love when I think I have a shot. I kind of find it funny that I still have that jailer's key from before. Really? Alright. But I got the harps. Light rune reduces his magic barrier, makes him vulnerable to the other runes. Good. Now, we can use either the sky or the moon rune. They will half Gorsia's strength, magic, and MP. Uh, let's go for the moon rune. Because he might just straight up try to slug me that is not slugging me. And, uh, I don't just kindly pop back another potion. <clears throat> Son of a... Fine. You know what? Go for that sky rune. Because I'm sick of you casting magic at me, you douche. Canoe. <laughs> right. Worth it. Totally worth it. 100%. Ow. Hey, significantly less damage. Good. Alright. Uh, we'll use the wind rune. Uh, this one. Okay. And stop with the magic casties. You know we'll go ahead and use recovery this time. Why? I don't know. So now is a good time to start casting the things that protect you. Because as soon as you use the star and the water rune that halves his uh, defense and his HP total. So, you know, you'll want to do that. Agility. Ah, uh, that's still going to hurt. And I suppose I'll use the power 2 once I use the potion 3. 
I'm trying to be a little bit, just littlest bits, hoping that he doesn't go bonkers with the spell casting. But that seems to not be the case. I can use multiple bottles at once, right? Of the same bottle, I mean. No, I can't. That was a waste of a turn and a bottle. Not that it'll ma much matter after this fight. Ooh. That still could have hurt. So now we want to use the star room. That'll have his defense so I, we can actually hit him and hurt him. And then finally, the water room, which will half his HP. It's something a little bit more reasonable. Yell the defense attack method. It uh, might hurt. Yeah, that hurts a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Covering. Launch. Huh. I guess his reduction of speed also really did affect him. Defend one more time. He must be out of MP or something. Because all he's doing is punching. Man, I didn't think I'd ever see a final boss resort only to physical attacks. Because he's out of MP. It's usually quite the opposite. Alright. There it is. You. I'll make you pay for this, Legis. If I go down, I'll take you with me. You'll never win. I'll be back. Sorrow, we shall meet again. Legis, I'm grateful that you fulfilled my wishes. Save the people of this world. Gorsia has destroyed your flesh, but I will not let you die. I will give you my flesh. You will be reborn as my descendant. How extraordinary! A child is appearing in the light! Sorrow is sending his child to us. We shall name him Limily. It is our responsibility to record the history of these fights on the stone tablet so that this child will not succumb to the dark power when it reappears in the future. And that was Seventh Saga for the third time. This was Legis. So, how do I rank Legis? Well, early game, he's pretty fun to use. He is actually pretty much one of the more powerful characters what with his, uh, his spell selection of high damage black magic that can also instantly kill people. Mostly monsters. I think all of the um, apprentices would have been immune to a vacuum. That said, it definitely tapers off dramatically, once again, much like with Esuna, uh, during late game. Like, as soon as you pick up the last rune, it's another case of, oh, hey, your mystical, magical power is now useless. Useless! And, you know, uh, Legis does have the ability to back that up with his physical strength. He is a very powerful character where it stops being all right though is the fact that while he is a very physically powerful character both in magic and melee his defense sucks it's probably like i'd almost say second only to valsu and esna simply because they are more magey characters whereas there was a little bit of armor selection with um you know, with Legis. 
it's kind of weird pointing out that he has the worst, some of the worst armor and defense compared to the two characters that just plain old don't wear any armor when I think about it. And again, I, I'm i kind of amazed looking back now that I was able to beat this game as a kid with Legis and have the patience to do so because what was I thinking? I don't even know. It was definitely one of those situations where it's like, oh man, big bad awesome looking demon character awesome because you know young me also had an affinity for demons who the frick did, didn't when they were like 13 because they saw the horns and thought themselves hey that's cool uh, I don't know which one I'll play after this which character I mean for 7th Saga when I finally do get back to it uh Honestly, it will either be Wilmy or Olven. Uh, Wilmy, I think, because I I have no real connection to him. He's, he's, he's an alien. Yay. Whereas Olven is, you know, he's classic fantasy. He's a dwarven warrior. And I think of all the characters, he might be one of my other more favorite ones simply because you know he's a very physically powerful character he is more something i play in D, &D. you know physically powerful hit points up the wazoo and all that fun stuff uh man i don't know it's one of the things with seven saga first couple first few hours you know the first part where you're just collecting all the runes blast it is fun you finally pick up that last rune and then have them all ripped out from underneath you and forced into a situation where you're trying to get all of them back in not so much fun it's almost like uh, I don't know. um I do look I still do look forward to playing it another four times regardless Mostly because I hadn't beaten it with the other four characters. I think the only other one that I came close to beating it with was was with Camille. And I'm also still unsure after this one whether or not I wanted to uh, want to play with the original US cart. Because uh Because then we'd I would be here at least another 10 plus hours because another 10 plus hours would be about how many more hours it would take to grind for it and while I do love let's playing I do love recording I don't think I will pour that much more time into these videos for that sake uh, it's one of those funny things is like this guy that I follow on strategywiki.org tells you oh hey ought to be maybe this level when you get to this point and I'm like far lower in that level or higher because it's actually easier to gain experience I'm not sure <clears throat> in any case I'm gonna go ahead and call this a let's play thank you all so very much for watching it this was once again a fun little delve back into my childhood especially with a character that I liked so much that I it was the first one I beat the game with as a kid. Physically strong, physically weak. Uh, was a blast. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this series, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff really helps out the channel. Uh, I do have two other playthroughs at the moment of Seventh Saga, one with Esna and one with Camille. Uh, if you guys enjoy this series to the point where you wish to monetarily assist the channel, which would be greatly helpful, I do have both a Patreon and a Streamlabs link down in the description below. And click that, send however much. Every little bit helps. Goes pretty much right to fixing up the channel in some way, shape, or form. Hardware, software, uh, better editing software. Uh, getting more games for the channel, all that fun stuff. Uh, so far, I have 
massive list that I really wanted to record, including a bunch of RPGs, uh, JRPGs, and CRPGs, so I don't know where I'm going next after this. You guys will be just as surprised as I am. So, thank you all so very much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next Let's Play. Take care. Cheers.